Hey y'all. Oh wait, let me I hope y'all can't hear my music. So I am about to go and do some returns. I have quite a few stores to go to and do some returns. And these are returns that I really need to go ahead and do before am I gripping my wheel? I don't know. I'm tense. Um before I can't return them anymore. So I just really didn't have time to like do the whole setup and make up a video, blah blah blah. Y'all are seeing me in my real state right now <laughs> which look at this this started when I was on vacation it was so big it was like out there um but it's gotten a lot smaller I hate that like when I go on vacation if I don't like eat amazing every single day my skin just like loses its mind which is ridiculous because it's like it's vacation you know what I mean like it's vacation I'm not trying to be sipping kale smoothies when I'm on vacation but anyway that's not what you came for let me show you what I'm returning really quick so the first thing is I picked up these Acure Mega Moisture, I beg to differ, um, shampoo and conditioner. So this is the Mega Moisture Argan Oil and Pumpkin Shampoo. And it's not the worst shampoo I've used, but it really did disappoint me. That's what it looks like right there. And then I also picked up the conditioner. Now I thought about keeping the conditioner because I've actually used quite a bit of this, um, but I'd rather get my money back especially because I just recently purchased a new conditioner that I'm really hoping works well for my hair. I've seen a lot of really good reviews on it. And it was a little bit more expensive than um, what I usually pay for conditioner. So if I could get my money back, that would really help, especially because I was kind of disappointed in these. I never used this. It just really stripped my hair. It almost made my hair feel like drier than it was before I washed my hair. So these were a disappointment and um, if you're wondering, this is like a white, oh, you can't see that. This is a, they're white creamy products. So I'm going to return that to Target. And then at Walmart, I was going to do this whole like review quite a few flower beauty things because I remember when flower first launched around the time that my channel first started. Do you guys remember that? And I had hauled some of her stuff and was telling you guys what I liked and what I didn't like. But I want to return these before I can get my money back. <laughs> before I can't get my money back. But I still wanted to talk to you about them. So the first one is the Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. I would have to agree with that. This shade is just way too light for me. And this is in the shade Sable D1. I think honestly my best match might be keeping this and then getting the shade that I did have but I returned because it was too dark which was D2 Nutmeg I think but if anything I may get D2 which is too dark for me but at least I can lighten it up with foundation because I don't have any way of like really darkening this up and then this is like it's not even just like a tad too light it's way too light like casket ready too light so i'd rather go a little bit darker and i also have that nyx foundation whitener you know like that white foundation mixer so at least i know i can lighten that up and get closer to my shade so i think i might do that because i actually really like the way this foundation feels it is so lightweight but it has really nice coverage i think it would be a really nice um summer foundation because it really is like nice coverage it's not i wouldn't call it full coverage but it's really nice coverage probably buildable medium coverage um and it just feels like nothing on the skin so i actually really really like this foundation also it has a pump hello good looking out and and also the bottle was pretty that's not you know that shouldn't mean anything but it's cute <laughs> Um, this, this is just, this is no. And you know what? This is to Flower and a lot of these other brands. Like, I feel like the makeup industry in general needs to do a lot better when they're coming out with these contouring, um, blush highlight type of palettes. I can applaud brands for starting to come out with this a lot more and putting a lot more in one. This is such a great value. I also think, especially for traveling or something like that, that's amazing. But if we're going to come out with these, like, let's have quite a few. Let's have some variation because I am not, as you can see, this is, I hope you guys can see my skin. You know, I'm not the deepest of the beautiful, you know, um, deep skin. I can't even talk right now. <laughs> Y'all are going to be like, Bridget? what's happening right now you guys it's the end of the semester okay and a sister's tired i'm just gonna keep it real um but you know what i mean like i'm not the deepest when it comes to women of color or even people of color and the fact that i can hardly find a drugstore bronzer or, or contour product that works for me i think is extremely disappointing and so here's my issue with this product let me open it up so you can see so here's what it looks like um 
and you looking at that right you think oh that that could work for you bridge no it really can't because it's actually it looks deeper in the pan than what it actually is and so it's very light and it also looks very ashy on me i did take some pictures as well it looks very ashy on me i don't mind that these products are fairly powdery like very powdery um but they're just very ashy on me this blush i feel like it makes my face look kind of dead like i think my face looks better before i put it on and this highlighter is just can you see that this highlighter is just not my type of highlighter it's it has glitter in it and i'm just not into that at all so i don't think that it would be a turn off for everybody and i also don't know what the highlighter is like in the other eye in the other palette because i only bought this one i didn't go any lighter they do have one that's supposed to be lighter than this one this one is actually supposed to be for medium to deep skin tones but um it just didn't work out for me i think the packaging is pretty um i like seeing these palettes come out more but i think that there needed to be at least one or two or even three more um, but definitely one or two palettes deeper than this that didn't look ashy on women of color and that was deep enough to actually be you know a contour and not just this wasn't even my skin tone this was very ashy on me so um i'm gonna return that as well and then the final thing i'm gonna return this almost pains me is my car on hello what are you doing girl my car was on <laughs> um this almost pains me to say that i'm returning this also this is i think this is like the first time y'all been in my car right check her out check her out this is faith faith this is them ah! i'm so excited <laughs> even though at this point literally in a couple months it'll be a year but i think this is the first time y'all been inside my car anyway unrelated unrelated <laughs> this is the estee lauder double wear light stay in place makeup now i think we know bridget likes estee lauder foundations this foundation could have been everything I need, but it does not do well with lash. I mean, not just like, oh, that's a little off. No, I looked gray and kind of pasty and kind of dead. And it was unfortunate because I was on vacation. I was kicking it with my best friend. We went to, you know, partying. Um, and my pictures are not good. Which is unfortunate because, you know, like, when you do your makeup and you're feeling good, you're looking good, everything is popping, right? Off it, everything is just working together for you, for that situation. The pictures, no. <laughs> no. Um, and had I known that, I really would not have worn this out because I did have my Lancome foundation with me and I would have just went for that. So, I am going to return this, which pains me to do because it actually is a very good foundation. Now, if you're somebody that's like, okay, I can deal with that. I'm not going to wear it when I'm wearing flash photography. Go for it. And I honestly am very torn on returning this, but I think I am because this is a 40 what? $42 foundation and I and I bought this for the purpose of being able to wear it out at night. I wanted a foundation that was going to be lighter but was going to be really nice coverage and that was going to be very long wearing. You know, this is the summertime and classes are really about to be over for me I have one paper left to finish and I wanted a foundation that was going to be my let's live our best life this summer foundation <laughs> but this no I also here's what it looks like can you guys see that this is the Estee Lauder foundation I do have it in intensity 4.5 i think it's a really good match for me outside of the flash honestly it looks beautiful like i said i do have a couple pictures in my phone i'm pretty sure um of the foundation when it's not um in flash and it looks great and that's why i'm kind of torn on getting this because you know a little bit a little while back Ulta came out with the 20% off. So I've been testing this foundation for about, what, a month now? Because when that 20%, I jumped. Um, but the issue, like I said, I mean, it just, it looked so bad. And I kind of broke one of my makeup rules for myself personally, which is that if I have not tested you under all conditions, you don't get to go out when we party. <laughs> but I that's how strongly I felt about this foundation. It just looked so beautiful. It was so lightweight. Now, it does feel a little tacky on the skin. I will say that. It is a little tacky. And let me see if I can show you what it looks like. I'm going to try it, y'all. I don't know. Uh, it has just a little bit of a thickness to it. Can y'all see that? I don't even know that you can. But it does... Ooh. Sorry guys, hold on a second. Oh, thank God. I got some 
paper towel in my glove compartment. It does have a little bit of a tackiness to it, but I found a powder, actually the new Flower Beauty powder. The face powders that are actually colored is so nice for dry skin. You will hear me talking about that some more. And um, so I just like lightly set it and then it was great. But I don't like the surprise factor, especially because like I said, I bought this foundation for my summertime, living my best life. I am not a student this summer. You don't know me if you're a professor. <laughs> foundation like that's how strongly I felt about this foundation but for that reason I think I'm gonna return this and pick up the Becca ultimate coverage because apparently they reformulated it I did try it when it was the other formula and it was moussey and it just wasn't the best for my dry skin I think if I had got it when my skin was still oily it would have been great but with my dry skin it was a no um, but I tried the foundation actually earlier today and I really liked it um, I'm torn between two shades because they both seem really good on me. Um, so uh, I'm going to go back and check really quick because my Ulta will be closing soon. So I'm going to actually go to Ulta first because it's going to be closing soon. But I think I'm going to go ahead and return this. And this is the only product I'm kind of upset to have to return. Everything else, it can go. So that's what we're doing. Why well, I look like back there like somebody was back there? I don't know. So that's what we're doing. And... What else are we doing? I think that's it. I think I might pick up some Greek yogurt and uh, some granola. It's been a while since I've had that. And I think I might have that. And funny story, I actually stopped buying it for a really long time. I do buy it now. But it was one of the things I used to emotionally eat, which I still need to do a video on that. I really do want to talk about that. I think I'm ready now. Um... So for a long time, I didn't buy it. And now I'll buy it every once in a while because I, you know, it's been a while. I have not emotionally ate at this point in what, two years, three years. Um, and, you know, like I'm just, I'm, I'm in a good place. So I think we're going to get ourselves some Greek yogurt and we're going to make some parfaits because delicious. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I hope it was helpful. If I'm able to, I will try to figure out how to insert pictures in here before I upload it. Otherwise, I would just upload it and then put some pictures on my Instagram if anybody's interested in seeing how those things actually looked. Um, but this is a really impromptu video, but I just wanted to still talk to you guys about these products before I return them. Um, and like I said, I got some stuff going on in my apartment right now, so I can't set up um, and do like my normal videos right now. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.